I did my first television show for HBO. It turned out to be their first television show as well. Well, okay, I'm fudging just a little bit. It wasn't really their first television show. They had broadcast the odd prize fight once or twice. But my show was their very first all singing, all dancing, all talking, four alarm fire kind of a show. I had been told that I was too daring for the network and that HBO, a small, desperate, struggling little channel, was more up my alley. So. We made a contract and they came to shoot my show. Of course, I, I forced them to come to Cleveland to do it. No good deed goes unpunished. That's a lie. We had a ball in Cleveland. The shortest mayor in the whole world gave me the largest key to the city and he took me to the garlic festival. They repeat it every year. Ah, oh, but we had larger concerns when we were shooting that show. We were nervous, me and the girls. We were nervous about shoes, wigs, brassiers. Anyway, we did the show, it went on cable, and it was such a thumping success that I earned the world's first cable ace award. No one had ever heard of it at the time. It was the first year they gave it. I thought it was a doorstop. But even though it was a fledgling awards ceremony and I was the only nominee, I, I felt prevailed upon to go. It was a gathering of the most important people in the cable industry at the time, which translated means four kind of fat men in polyester smoking cigars in the basement of a hotel I turned to the head of HBO I said sir you have brought me to a smoker some of you may not know what a smoker is send in your cards and letters and I'll write back telling you all about it. anyway I thought any minute they were gonna make me jump up on a table sing old black magic and strip it's fortunate they didn't because I was wearing my Clarabelle underwear at the time of course, I'm past that now. I am a first lady of the silver screen. I have evolved. I'm too dignified to even entertain such notions. And of course, HBO has become what HBO has become. Gargantuan. A place where we can strut and fret our hour upon the stage. Relatively unfettered. It has become a familiar place. A place peopled by friends. And I am all alone There's nobody here beside me And my problems have all gone There is no one to deride me <laughs> oh, But you got to have friends The feelings are so strong You got to have friends
Quite a parade of talent, no? Yes. So, what have we learned tonight? Well, once again, we've learned that black people, baby, age well. Yes, we do. We've also learned that if you put Robin Williams, Billy Crystal, and myself together on a stage, somebody's going to start speaking Yiddish. Possibly all of us at one time with no provocation whatsoever. It's been a very real and very rare experience sharing 20 years of HBO with you. Personally, I never realized I was old enough to share 20 years of anything with anyone. So I could get really deeply depressed. But with any luck, I will see you all on the other end. But until then, point your satellite dish up and keep on searching the skies, honey, because that HBO signal is bound to turn up sooner or later. Good night. You got to have